Property Data Import tab is where you'll provide the necessary and recommended property data needed to develop your roadmap. There are three sections, the blue columns which are the required property level inputs, the yellow columns which are the optional custom inputs, and the green columns which are the calculated and editable data. You can either import the data from the SAFE calculator or enter the data by hand. Before you begin, you will need to have at least one year's worth of actual whole property energy use data or use the calculator to apply an assumed baseline. It is recommended that you use the most current year's worth of data. The easiest way to enter the property data is to use the export from the SAFE calculator. First, be sure to enable editing and allow macros for this file. Depending on your security settings, you may need to click the Learn More button for directions on how to enable macros. When both editing and macros are enabled, click the Click Here to Import Safe Calculator button, select the appropriate file, and let the tool populate all but the last column. This final column is the building type. You will need to select a building type from the dropdown for each property. Note, any data previously entered in the spreadsheet will be overwritten by the imported data. You can also enter the property data by hand. You will notice that once you enter a property name, cells will automatically turn yellow. These highlighted cells are the required property level inputs needed before moving on to the next step. While the roadmap will automatically allow you to segment your portfolio into groups by a variety of building features and geography, you can also choose to customize your portfolio segmentation by three additional factors. Possible factors could include differentiating properties by age of building, categorizing properties by the resident population types, or differentiating between properties that will have to meet a building performance standard. The roadmap will automatically calculate these data points on data provided in the blue columns. We recommend that you review these green columns to ensure that they are correct. If they aren't, you can modify them. All columns feature a drop-down menu that allows you to select an alternate choice.